Greetings friends, it's Miss Rich, and guess what? Today we will be practicing a new strategy for math to become master mathematicians. We will be practicing a strategy called subitizing. Everyone say subitizing. It's kind of fun to say it sounds kind of like subitizing. But we are going to be practicing subitizing. And to subitize means that you can look at a quantity and you don't even have to count it because you can look at it and say, I know that's three. Or you can look at the quantity and say, mm, I know that's five. So we're going to practice subitizing in just a minute. I can't wait. I hope you're excited. Okay, friends. So we are going to be practicing a strategy called subitizing. Everyone say subitizing. So when we subitize, it means that we look at a set of objects and we are able to identify the number of objects in the set without having to count them one at a time. So let's practice this skill, this strategy supertizing. So I have a donut here. How many donuts do we see here? We see one donut, right? And did we have to count this donut? No way we did not have to count this donut because we can look at this donut and see that there is one donut represented in this set. So this is how we supertize. We can look at the number of objects and know exactly how many objects are represented in the set. So let's try again. Let's see, we have some Smarties. How many Smarties do we see in this set? Can we supertize this set? Of course we can. We don't have to count these Smarties one by one. We can supertize and look at this set and say, we know that there are three Smarties in this set. So let's try again. How about, ooh, we have some lollipops. So let's get our lollipops all spread out. And do we have to count these lollipops one at a time? No way. We can look at this set of lollipops and we know that there are five lollipops in this set, right? You guys are so awesome. So now let's see. Let's see. How about we, ooh, we have some poppets. How many poppets do we see in this set? We love poppets, don't we? How many poppets do we see in this set? Do we need to count them one by one? No way. We can look at these poppets and say there are two poppets here in this set. So let's see, let's see, let's try, hmm, let's try, ooh, we have some gumdrops. We have some little dot gumdrops. How many gumdrops do we see in this set? Yep, we see six gumdrops in this set and we don't have to count them one at a time. We can look at this set and we know that there are six gumdrops. So now let's try, how about we have some pencils. Now do we need to count these pencils one at a time? No way, we absolutely do not. We can look at this set of pencils and we know that there are four pencils in this set, right friends? Perfect. And let's see, let's try one more, let's see. You guys are so great at this. Maybe let's try a tricky one. Let's try to make this a little bit harder. So, let's see. We have some bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. And do we need to count these bubble gums one at a time? No way. We can look at this set of bubble gum and we know that there are seven pieces of bubble gum represented in this set. And I think I'm gonna chew one of these pieces of bubble gum because I enjoy blowing bubbles with bubble gum. So friends, this is how we supertize. When we supertize, it means that we can look at a set of objects and we don't have to count them one at a time. We can look at it and we know exactly how many objects are represented in the set. Okay friends, did we have fun supertizing? I hope so. Remember when we supertize, it means that we're able to look at a quantity and we don't have to count each object one by one. We can look at it and say, I know how many is in that set. I don't have to count it one by one. So I hope that you all enjoyed our activity today, our new strategy. 
and until next time have a great day and we will see you soon